Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this given rational expression. And as we can see that on the top, the degree is 4 and the degree at the denominator is 2. So therefore, we call this fraction as an improper fraction. In other words, the top is heavier than the bottom. That means the degree on the top is heavier than the degree at the denominator. So therefore, we are going to use the long division in our very first step. And here I just set up the long division. As you can see that our this numerator is going to go inside and become dividend while this denominator is going to become a divisor. Now let's start working on this long division. Let's look at over here. Our leading term is 2x power 4 and the outside in the divisor our leading term is x power 2. We are going to divide it and we are going to get, if we simplify, we're going to get 2x squared. Whatever we got this thing, that is going to come on the top over here, 2x squared. Let's go ahead and multiply this one, distribute this one with all these terms. So once we multiply, we are going to get 2x squared times x squared is going to become 2x power 4, 2x squared times 3x is going to become plus 6x power 3 and plus 4x squared. So that's the very first step. Let's go ahead and change the sign. So this uh, 2x power 4 has positive sign. We're going to switch it to negative this positive become negative as well and then 4x squared this positive sign is going to become negative as well and as we can see this 2x power 4 and minus 2x power 4 they are gone so I can write this as negative 6x power 3 and as you can see this 3x squared and negative 4x squared is going to give us negative x squared and we are going to bring this one down over here becomes positive 1. Now let's go ahead and repeat the same process once again. This the leading term is negative 6x power 3. I can write it over here divided by the leading term on the outside, this divisor is x squared. Let's go ahead and simplify this thing that's going to give us negative 6x. So we are going to write down this negative 6x on the top and we are going to multiply this negative 6x. We are going to distribute once again with all these terms. So let's distribute this thing. Negative 6x times x squared is going to give us negative 6x power 3 and then this is going to become negative 18x squared and then minus 12x. And once again we are going to change the sign. This negative is going to become positive this negative become positive as well and over here this negative become positive again all right so let's simplify this one as we can see that this negative 3x 6x square rather and this positive 6x square they are gone as we can see and here we got positive 17x square and this is positive 12x and now we are going to bring this positive 1 down over here so that's going to become positive 1. 
Now let's do once again look at this uh, leading term over here which is 17 x square divided by let's look at this leading term on the divisor which is x square and when we simplify that is that's going to give us positive 17 so I am going to write down positive 17 on the top and let's go ahead and distribute this 17 with all these terms once again and we get 17 x square plus 51 x and plus 34 let's go ahead and change the sign once again this positive become negative positive become negative again and this positive become negative so we are going to cancel this one out as we can see that they have a different signs and this could be written as negative 39 X minus 33 so thus our remainder is negative 39 X minus 33 and is you can see the degree in this remainder is less than the degree of this divisor so we are going to stop at this point so thus we can write this as this one over here 2x square minus 6x plus 17 is this our quotient and then we always put a plus sign and this is our remainder and this the denominator we have our divisor so now we can write this our improper fraction after long division we can write it as this one now let's focus on this part this fraction this is indeed a proper fraction and we will find the partial fraction decomposition of this fraction so in our next step we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this part which i have just copy it down over here and if I, we look at this fraction this denominator could be easily factored out into x plus 1 times x plus 2 so therefore this fraction could be written as like this one with these linear factors at the denominators now let's go ahead and find the partial fraction decomposition of this one and since we have a we have a two linear factors at the denominator so we are going to have two fractions separated by plus sign the first one is going to be x plus one the other one is going to be x plus two and the top we have a constant a for the first fraction and constant b for the second fraction and we are going to find the value of these constant a and constant b now in our next step let's focus on this denominator x plus 1 times x plus 2 let's multiply this one across the board so i'm going to multiply x plus 1 times x plus 2 on this left hand side and now x plus 1 time x plus 2 for the first fraction on the right hand side and likewise x plus 1 time x plus 2 for the second fraction and as we can see that these two linear factors cross out with this one so we ended up with the uh, negative 39 x minus 33 on the left hand side equals to as we can see that this x plus 1 cancels out with this x plus 1 so we ended up with a times x plus 2 and likewise on this side this x plus 2 cancel with this x plus 2 so we ended up with plus b times x plus 
one and I am going to call this as an equation number one and here is our next step we have a quick trick look for linear factors in the denominator on this left hand side and as we can see we have a two linear factors we are going to set them up equal to zero so x plus one equal to zero the first one and let's set the second linear factor equal to zero as well so our first value x value is going to be negative one and then second x value is going to be negative two and now let's focus on this x equal to negative one value and i wrote down put x equal to negative one value in uh, this equation number one so wherever we see x we are going to replace it by negative one so this left hand side is going to become negative 39 times negative one minus 33 equal to as we can see over here this when we replace this x by negative one so this negative one and positive one is going to give us zero zero means this whole term is going to become zero so let's go ahead and write down this a by the way a times x in our case is negative one plus two and this thing we have zero let's simplify furthermore so we are going to have on this left hand side positive 39 minus 33 equals to a times 1 which gives us a equal to 6 value and now let's focus on the other value of x which is negative 2 and here i wrote down put x equal to negative 2 in this equation one that means wherever we see x we are going to replace it by negative two so the left hand side is going to become negative 39 times negative two minus 33 equals to if we replace this x by negative two negative two and positive two is going to give us zero so zero time whole thing is going to be zero so i can write zero on the right hand side plus b times x is being replaced by negative two plus one let's simplify the left hand side is going to be a positive 78 minus 33 equal to this is going to become b times negative one that means b value is going to be simply negative 45 all right so we got b value negative 45 so thus our a value turns out to be six and b value is negative 45 and therefore in our partial fraction decomposition wherever we see a we are going to replace it by 6 and b by negative 45 and here is our partial fraction decomposition once we have replaced a by 6 and b by negative 45 so thus our complete partial fraction decomposition includes this part which is right up here and this the second part is from here and that is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye